Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to look at another new feature in 8090 on the ICX, which is LLDP on by default. And uh, although I'm not sure this really needed a video, it just adds to, you know, one more thing that we've done to make um, using our devices easier, right? So in the past few versions, we've um, turned PoE on by default. We've uh, simplified the lag configuration. We've uh, got rid of dual mode. Um, you know, we've um, turned to trust-based licensing um, and, you know, several other things to make life easier. And so this is just one more thing in that quest to make it, you know, as simple as possible to deploy our devices. So um, really, this is just a uh, switch fresh out of the box. I've already... Uh, gone through the, the login procedure. And uh, if we look at the running config, it's got pretty much nothing on it, right? So it's got the IP address that it got from DHCP, uh, got DNS from DHCP, um, and the rest of the AAA configuration is all part of the you know SSH on by default, which is a different video. Um, but other than that, you know you don't see any LDP run in this configuration. So in the past, you had to turn on, you know, uh, PoE, so you had to turn on inline power on the ports, and you had to turn on LLDP, etc. And so now, you know, if I do a show LLDP, we can see that it's enabled by default, and show LLDP neighbor, we can see my LLDP neighbor. So without having to turn it on, uh, it's automatically on and functional. And so, you know, LLDP is important for um, for several things, right? So it's it's not just for device discovery, but we can also do things like configuring, um, you know, QoS on our on our devices, or or doing power negotiation with with phones or or access points, um, or for troubleshooting, right? So there's multiple things that LDP is used for, and the beauty of LDP versus you know any proprietary like FTP or CDP. Um, is that you know it's it's used on pretty much everything. So LDP can be used on you know not just switches and routers, but access points, firewalls, servers, um, PCs, you name it, right? So so in theory, you know if if you had LDP turned on on all of your devices on your in your infrastructure, you know doing a show LDP neighbor will show you you know a topology of pretty much everything, right? You can you'll be able to drill down through that topology and get a complete view of your network, so you're not you know trying to trace MAC addresses to figure out what what device is on which port, right? Um, and so you know as always, show LDP neighbor detail is going to tell me you know, the detail of what's plugged into that port, right? So we see on my local port 111, there's another um, uh, Brocade ICX out there. Uh, it's called LabCore. We can see it's on, um, it's connected to us on its port 1113. It's a bridge router, um, you know, what its management IP address is, etc. cetera, right? Um, if you don't want it on, you can certainly turn it off, right, with a new LDP run, or you can disable it for certain interfaces, but it's on by default and, you know, an important part of most enterprise environments. So that's it for today. Uh, another great feature in 8090, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Have a great day.